Hello, everyone. Hi. How are we doing today? Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. We uh, decided to give you some peep show. Peep. Peep, 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 peep. Now, I've started two more episodes <gasps> since uh, season one. You peep show cheater. Yeah, well, I gotta give him some <laughs> That's reactions, okay. so. I'm busy. Yeah, um, but since I started season two, season two is significantly amped up. Yeah. Amped up, okay. yeah. It's gotten really, really crazy. So I'm really excited. You get to see uh, all the craziness that season two has to offer. I'm excited. This one's called Local Zero. So When I first read it, I wear glasses. I just saw the Z and the O, and I thought it said the local zoo, and I got really excited. Yeah. So I'm a little upset it's not the zoo. Because <laughs> that would have been funny. Let's go to the animal prison. Yeah. All right, remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, okay? Let's start the reaction peep show. Episode three from season two. That's a guy? God, you're great. That he's... Thanks, Jez. You're great, too. Screwing. Sometimes I'd like to die oh, and climb gosh. inside you. Okay. Was that too much? No. Go on, ask her. Nancy, I was wondering whether you consider being maybe my... Proper, you know, just you and me girlfriend. Wow. Wow, um, I don't know. I mean, that's that's really nice, Jeremy, but... There's always a but. Well, I mean, I mean, we're so different. I, I've got my religion, my yoga size, my charity stuff. I just don't know where you'd fit in as a boyfriend. But I really like you, and we have a great time together. Well, I really like you, too, and we do have a good time together, but... That's the second but. What about all the other stuff? Other stuff? Look, obviously God wanted us to enjoy ourselves. I mean... She's a, uh, she's a swinger, by the way. Oh, and God told her to be a swinger. I guess so. Okay. <laughs> sure. That's why he invented pills and clubs and lube and hardcore. But he also wanted us to give something back. And that's where he created the homeless, the lepers, and the oil spills. God. Suck up to God. Nancy, listen. The only reason that I don't go to church is that, for me, everything's a church. This room is my church. The hall is my church. Cost Cutters is a bloody cathedral. That's really nice, Jeremy. It's just... Not true, is it? End of quarter sales push. Pulling an all-nighter. One of the few in my spitfire. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I probably would have crashed my training plane during the phony war. <laughs> Uh-oh. Bollocks. Giggling. Sharing. Oh, no. Giggle. Shall I intervene? <laughs> no. It's fine. It's totally fine. K sera sera. Whatever will be, will be. The Is future's the girl not like? ours. She got her see. hair? If she fucks him, I'll kill myself. <laughs> oh, God. She dyed her hair? <laughs> uh, did, did she? I, I thought it was always black, but. No. She had no. blonde hair in the beginning. That's the girl uh, who played the queen, right? Yeah. Yeah, Brian, she had blonde hair at the beginning. I'm sorry. How do you not notice it? I do so many reactions, I can't remember everything. <laughs> Look at this. Start a reaction today, and I'm getting shit from over here. <laughs> Would you notice that my hair was blonde? Yes. <laughs> well, you know a girl's crazy when she dyes her hair dark. Is she? Yeah. Why? What happened after I dyed my hair dark? You came after me. I got in your truck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. What? You're so funny. I can't believe you didn't notice she dyed her hair completely. Oh color. my god! <laughs> and it, what if it was the opposite? <laughs> if I go, wow, she dyed her hair, it looks good, you'd be like... No, it's just Something's funny. up here, do you want to <laughs> fuck this one? It's just funny that men never notice when a woman does something. Yeah, different. and if we do notice, we're damned to fucking hell. Oh my god. <laughs> You're going to make me cry oh. the rest of my eyelashes off. <laughs> Am I wrong? Yes. Am I wrong? Yes. No. Yes. Never been more right. 
<laughs> All right then, mate. Hi. Hobnobs. Thought we might like some, mate. You know, pulling an all-nighter. We're all in it together, aren't we, mate? Right. Hope this works. Well, that's nice. You want to come in? <laughs> mate. The magic code word. Instant rapport with taxi drivers, builders and garage men. Blimey, mate. Look at all these TVs. You can see it all from in here, can't you? Yep. So, uh, what's your name? This is the real peep show. Yeah. Psst. Oh my god. Pal? Is he a pal person? Mark, pal. Ah, Terry. Mark has brought us some biscuits. Cheers, mate. Now we're back to mate. This is a nightmare. Uh, no problem, mate, pal. <clears throat> so, I, I bet I can see my mates from up here, yeah? Oh yeah, look, there they are, laughing away like a pair of bloody idiots and absolutely nothing. Uh oh, oh. mate's getting fresh, is he? Oh god. Oh god, no. Hey, Till, get me a tape. Don't tape it, stop it. Charge up your tasers. Ooh. <coughs> oh, that's that. an invasion of privacy. I wonder what guess was doing in the library, but still. Hilarious. I'll tell you what, he can give a one from me. And me. <laughs> Brilliant. God, I'm good. It's a Saturday night and I'm doing good. Come on, give us a smile. You don't know I'm here with an ulterior motive. <sighs> Jeremy! Nancy! Since when were you involved with street work? <laughs> Since forever? Bloody hell, this is amazing. I had no idea you were into this stuff too. Really? I'm, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it. No, I don't think you did. Because if you had, I'd have mentioned it too. Right. Yeah, I love hobos. Always have, always will. And they're a great bunch down here, the Jesus Cave crew. Yeah. Although, don't you think sometimes they can be a bit patronizing? It's like, sorry we're all out of soup and bread, but... Oh look, this is lucky, we have lots and lots of wine and tiny little wafers. Yeah, that is so whack. I mean, Jesus fed a multitude of followers with just five loaves and two fishes. Matthew, chapter 14. Nancy! Oh my god. See you later, honey. Later, baby. Mm, I'll probably get to bone her later. Cheer up, Beardy. Everything's coming up roses. That's got to be the worst. Doing what? charity just to pick up a girl. I mean, part of me is like he's still doing charity, so I guess that's good. But you should do it for an alternative it's motive. It's Jeremy, though. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I don't know. It's funny, though. Cup of tea? Girlfriend? I'm good, thanks. Boyfriend? Ah, this is the worst bit. I hate this bit. This is the worst bit. Oh Come my on, god, why'd you bring it home? Myself. It's not torture. <laughs> <laughs> He's like hate watching <laughs> it. Oh my god. He is hate watching it. He's gonna be like, he's gonna be like, it's like that skit. Too late, yeah. He's gonna be crying and eating. It's like ice that cream mad real world skit in the Chappelle show, where the his girlfriend starts banging one of the other guys, and he's in the corner like, okay. No. I don't think I've ever seen that. You never see that? I gotta no. show that to you. It's research. Besides, I've got a right to torture myself if I want to. What are you going to do? Call Amnesty? See, that! That's the push! She can't get away, he's some sort of animal! Did you see the push, Jeremy? Yeah, sure, that looked terrible. Looks like a one-off, though, doesn't it? A crazy flash in the pan, don't you think? I mean, Nancy, you're her friend, give me your analysis. I mean, did she tell you what happened after? Well, apparently, he took her to the bathroom for a little bit of... But Sophie was totally not into it. Oh. So they went back to his place they made out for hours, and she jerked him off. Oh. But then he went away, and he hasn't called, and she's really pissed off about it. Oh. Brilliant. Oh, my God. Our ambition should be to kill clients. There's my boy. actually kill them. He just had a mission to <laughs> yeah. kill clients. Brilliant. And our ambition should be to kill clients. I mean, actually kill them with our levels of service. So they're dead. She's and not going to smile, Jeff. Not now. You can't laugh at someone you don't trust. It's like Mum singing the Lumberjack song after she had her affair. So, Aberdeen. I need a couple of experienced credit managers up there for 10 days on-site personnel training. I was thinking, 
Sophie and Jeff. No, no, no! Ten days? He can wheedle his way back in in ten days! So, unless anyone else has any thoughts, let's wrap up and have a couple of frappuccinos. Yes, I have a thought. Uh-huh. I very much don't think it's a good idea. Oh, okay. Why's that? It's just a hunch, okay? And I always trust my hunches. Thanks, Columbo. <laughs> and plus, Jeff doesn't have much experience. The 2003 Scottish Consumer Directive, for example. I really don't think that affects us, Alan. Oh, it doesn't affect us that during the first phone contact, we're obliged to set out without abbreviation the terms of a standard repayment plan. I've shot you, Jeff, with a okay. bullet made of Scottish finance mm. regulations. So, Mark, would you be prepared to go up there with Sophie, if that's the way things panned out? Yeah, Alan, I, I suppose I could... <laughs> if that worked, genius! I, I got, like... I genius, to... Mark! Good for you. Even though you're a weirdo. <laughs> he is a weirdo. Wait a minute, what happened here? Probably make that? Even if I have to cut off all my limbs and crawl to Aberdeen on my tongue. <laughs> I oh, I, for oh, I forgot. The last episode, um... Her and Sophie got like Sophie's like really mad at him what? or something he did. I can't I can't quite remember. Okay. But it's it was she was really upset. He's wormed his way back in. Yeah. Well his mum was really ill apparently. That's why he didn't call Sophie. Bastard. Perfect alibi. Still, thanks for the heads up on the date, mate. Great to be able to monitor. And if anyone asks, we're just having a lovely innocent picnic. <laughs> Oops. Looks like he's having a bit of trouble with the Humpty. Uh, keep... You don't want to eat <clears throat> in the dirt with the grass and the bugs? Nope. <laughs> no. no, I do not. And if anyone asks, we're just having a lovely, innocent picnic. <laughs> Oops. Looks like he's having a bit of trouble with the Humpty. Uh, keeps rolling on out. Brilliant. Although, apparently she finds that amusing. They're laughing, Jez. They're having a good time. Got to stop it. Throw a snack. Hit him on the head. Oh, no. Snap. Get them to film it. Build up a library of taped evidence. Right. Evidence that I'm an obsessive voyeur. Oh, man. Yeah, you are a little obsessed with everybody. Bad news, bad news, bad news. Jesus, Jeremy, one bus crash. What about all the buses that made it safely to their destinations, huh? Yeah. Yeah, this is such bullshit. Those. Yes, I suppose the news should just be a dispassionate list of all the events that have occurred the world over during the day. That'd be good. Except, of course, it would take forever. That's... that's... that's our picnic! You can't see the kettle chips! <laughs> What is the anti-social behavior? Anti-social behavior. Oh my god. This he's Terry's he's loving it. Hell. Whose business is it where you do your drinking? I wasn't drinking, I was having a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Mum, we were having a picnic. Tell Dad it, it was a picnic. You can't see the crisps. We had three different flavors of crisps. Explain to him. And, and scotch eggs. Yeah, no, really, I'm, I'm fine. L listen, I've, I've got to go. Cock knobs. Mark, don't worry. These things, they happen for a reason. It might not seem like there's a plan, but there is a plan. Oh, right, you believe in a god, do you? Yes, I do. And you might find it a comfort and Nancy, a Nancy, there's no evidence for God, whereas Ofcom has published guidelines. So does God. It's called the Bible. Oh, yes, the Bible. And I wonder what the Bible's view is on you doing it in the shower and the garden centre and up the bum. I mean, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You got a point, sir. You have a point. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, the up the bum killed me. <laughs> up the bum. Up the bum. In the shower. Up the bum. <laughs> oh, my God. It's called the Bible. Oh, yes, the Bible. And I wonder what the Bible's view is on you doing it in the shower and the garden centre and up the bum. I mean, that's all right, is it? That's in the Bible, is it? Do you think maybe that's not in the Bible? Mark! I'm sure it is in the Bible somewhere. 
Probably in Corinthians. There's a load of weird shit in there. In Corinthians. Oh my god. Are they staring? That's a chapter of the Bible. They're all staring at the drunk off yeah. the news. Yeah, well, fuck them. Me and Sophie are going to Aberdeen. I'll make everything all right in Aberdeen. They're probably not even staring. Just being paranoid as usual. Oh, fuck. All right. Ha uh ha. -huh. Very funny. Yeah, I can take a joke as well as anyone else. But if, if there are any more jokes, I'm taking it to a fucking industrial tribunal. Okay? <laughs> Mark. Can I have a word? <gasps> oh, God. It. it was a picnic. I'm currently speaking to Ofcom. Right. I mean, we had three flavors of crisps. Sure. Good. Well, I'm glad you understand. Oh, I understand. Totally. Mark, listen, I've been there. I've been to the bottom of the bottle and back to the top. No, uh, Alan, I... We're kindred spirits, Mark. Like George W. or Alistair Campbell. Wait, thank you, no we want it all, we want it now. And if we're not hitting our targets, we're hitting the bottle, right? Alan, I I'm not an alcoholic. Sure. Sure you're not. That's what I told myself every day for 15 years. But until you face your demons and put the plug in the jug, how can I trust you to be my main man in the office, let alone Frankfurt or Aberdeen? I've got to go to Aberdeen. I've got the rough guide. I could always sell it on eBay. No, I've got to go to Aberdeen with Sophie. So do you think Mark's going to strike back? I don't know. Do something else because to... it's clear that Jeff left those there. He's gonna pretend that he's an alcoholic so that he's like, "Oh, I really want to get clean," so he can go to that place with Sophie. I thought he just said he won't, won't let him go if he's in the state. No, he was saying like, if I can't even um, trust you to like admit that you're an alcoholic, how am I gonna trust you in Frankfurt or wherever they said they were going? Yeah. Yeah. Details, baby, details. Thank you. You're welcome. That's why I like, I got that's you. That's why I like having you here. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's why. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Yeah. Anytime. All right. <laughs> Have you found it yet? Oh, wait, she's what? The bit, you know, the bit where it says it's okay to do it up the bomb. I'm not looking for that. I'm just reading. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Listen, Jazz. I want to ask you something. If we can do something very special. <sighs> so glad I didn't rub one out in the shower. I think it's time we break the last taboo. Brilliant. It's not going to hurt, is it? What is it? Is it in the ear? Listen, now we've done it round every which way there is. I'm just wondering if we shouldn't try not doing it. Not doing it. Yeah. Wouldn't that be amazing? No, not amazing. Wrong. Think brain. <laughs> now, I know this is an older show, uh -huh. but do you think that she is the equivalent of uh, the crystal people? She's pretty close. Pretty close? Yeah. Jane? Jane, what, what are do you think? doing? Well, what do you think, Jane? What do you think? Yeah, oh, so cone head. Do you like crystals? <laughs> Do they tell you how to feel about life? Uh, I know, you're so cute. Your little cone head. Maybe I'll go to the dog park today. When you smell like a fairy, you need a bath. Yeah, you need a bath again. That she does. Yeah. Or, I tell you what, go the other way, do a John and Yoko. Never stop doing it or get out of bed until, like, all the injustice in the world is totally sorted. Hey, go lay down. I really want to give this a go. It's a real deal breaker for me. Well then, right here. let's give it a go. This isn't anything to do with what Mark said, is it? No, of course not. Because you know he's just the ghost at the feast, don't you? I'm so glad you understand. You're great, Jess. This is fine. We don't need sex. We can talk. Maybe I can get her to talk dirty while I pull myself off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, we need to get you a doggy chair so you can be part of the yeah, reaction too. Yeah, doggy chair. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I know you funny. Oh, your little cone. All right, ready? Yeah. Hello. Uh, oh no, he's yep, at an AA meeting. Yep, I told you. And I'm an alcoholic. Uh, so I, I'm a lager drinker, mainly. I think I had my first one when I was about 14. Hofmeister. You remember the bear with the pork pie hat? Yeah. Surely that's enough. Let it out. Yeah, so... Lately, it, it's got really bad. What? <clears throat> I've been on the rum and coke. More? And vodka and gin all mixed up. It's not even a proper cocktail, it's just made up. And I just drink that and stay at home. And eat oven chips out of the bag, frozen. <clears throat> Un until I throw up on myself. <laughs> That's how pissed I've been. Thanks. God, they'll believe anything. No. All you've got to do is turn up and moan. Thank you, Mark. What's so great about sex, anyway? It's all in the mind. Her soft skin is just a big bag full of kidneys and mucus and half-digested bits of pie. I bet she's got really nice kidneys. Oh, yeah, I'd fuck those kidneys real good. She looks fine. Why am I not fine and she's fine? She's probably getting some somewhere. Maybe she's doing it with him. Excuse me. Is there a suit without meat? Listen, mate. Beggars can't be choosers, all right? Jesus. Oh, right. Now Stop they're laughing. Over it. What's so bloody hilarious? Right, that's it. That is the fucking limit. Hi. What's so funny? What's the big joke? Hey, Jess. Shouldn't you be sorting out the queue? Why? What are you doing that's so important? Oh, well, I was just helping them fill out some benefit forms. God, they're a real pain. I'm gonna go do the soup. I know your game. I know what you're up to, Nim. What? Oh, sure. Yeah, you need help filling your forms in. Oh, please, missus. I've been on the streets for so long, I've forgotten how to use a pen. She offered and I just said yes. Like you even need them at all. Oh, my forms, my precious forms. I've got my eye on you, what a mate. Maybe he doesn't know how to read. <clears throat> I hope that guy comes back to his house and sticks something in his bum. Yeah, me too. That was really fucked up. I will. I'll buy that guy a golf club. He could stick that up there. Yeah. It's fine. There's nothing to worry about. She's not fucking anyone. We're just sitting watching TV. That's bad body language. She hasn't mentioned that homeless guy once. Probably wants me to forget all about him. Oh, that's it. She's off. She's leaving me. Fuck! Where... where are you going? Just wanted some more juice. You want some? Sure. Relax. Play it cool. She loves me. She's not just here because she hasn't got a TV. Oh. Listen, Jazz. I forgot to... I think mean, Jane wants to go out there. I think she does. Yeah. Keep staring at the door. Come on. Come on. <laughs> We thought she would nap, but she wants. She wants to go do something. Yeah, <laughs> I give it five minutes, and she's gonna cry to come back in. No, I don't think so. I think she'll be alright. To mention, Nim's gonna be moving into my flat. What the me? She's not just here because she hasn't got a TV. Oh. Listen, Jess, I forgot to mention, Nim's gonna be moving into my flat. What the fuck? Nim, the homeless guy? Just until he gets his own hostel place. Oh, Jesus, Jez, nothing's gonna happen. He's homeless, Jez. He sleeps rough every night. Exactly, he's fine. It's what he does, it's his whole thing. He probably loves it, the rolling hills, the heather. Don't fence him in. It's only till they sort out his claim. Look, this is ridiculous. 
We've got this massive sofa. Nim should stay here. Yeah, it'd be a laugh. I love the homeless. One of my own would be amazing. I could look after him. Not like a Tamagotchi. Hatter. Yeah, yeah, yes, okay. yeah, Fun. yeah. <laughs> That's old school, man. Those little things on the keychains. Yeah, do you have one? Uh, no, but I knew people. Like everyone had them. I, except for like me and like a few other people. I like had everyone one. had them. I had multiple. Really? I'd be like, I have to take care of Jeff and then Stacy <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what if they? Well, uh, I mean, from the this is a British show, so they must have had them over there. Yeah. Too. Because you actually have to take care of them or they would die. Like, you yeah. have to feed them. And I remember teachers hated it in class. And I was like, Stacy's gonna die if I don't the play only, a game and feed her. The only... Maybe some of you guys will know this, but it was... Uh, I had a Sega Dreamcast at one point, And the only thing I ever had that had a concept like that where you had to take care of something that you thought was like an electronic yeah. living thing. Yeah. Uh, it was called like Fish Man or something. Fish Man. Yeah, it was a fish, but it had like a a man's face on it. That sounds terrifying. Yeah. I don't want to take care of him. Well, I got it. I was like, this is cool because you had a mic. It was like one of the first times like a game had like a microphone, uh -huh. and you could talk to him, and he'd talk to you back. I've never heard of this thing. It yeah, sounds weird. It, it didn't like, work. I mean, it was like, like the you. first version of a something Sounds like, like you had that. a dream about this. Right. You had a game with a microphone and a fish drink. And then he'd say something back and uh, just imagine a fish with my face and he'd say something <laughs> back and he'd be like, I'm having a good day today. I don't think and, this is uh, yeah. real. <laughs> and I played it for like one hour and I was like, I've had enough. This is, this, this, this is this is this crazy. Fish Man video game. Fish Man. Hard, I know? think it was called Fish Man. If so, maybe somebody can correct me. Look it up. Fish Man for Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> I think you had a dream. Dreamcast? Yeah. None of this sounds real. Brian! Yeah! <laughs> this is yeah. a game? It is terrifying! <laughs> No. Oh my god. <laughs> oh what god. psychopath made this a game? I don't know. That was it? Uh, 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 who's the man? Who's your daddy? What is this? <laughs> I want to like message the man who made that video game and I want to make sure he's okay. Yeah. I don't think he's okay. Oh my god. I'm dad. Please, there's no need to come and stay. Uh, I, I know it was on the news, but you know what the news is like these days? They just make it all up. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, p please don't use that voice. Oh, all right, see you at the station. Oh, my God. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Jez? There's someone I don't know sitting on the sofa eating my Sarah Lee. He's a good friend of mine called Nim who happens to be homeless. He, he's not staying here, is he? Oh, right. I take it you prefer to see him out on the street. You know, brush them away, hose them down, put them into camps. Is that the idea? No, of course it isn't. Yes, he's going to stay here unless you want him to freeze to death. Or is that exactly what you want? No. Look, you must have some benefits or something. As a matter of fact, he doesn't. Some bloody guy ripped up his forms, apparently. Why on earth would they do that? I don't know, Mark. I guess that's just the way life is on the streets. It was you, you prick. Yeah. Uh, listen, Nim, I feel awful, but the thing is, my dad's coming to stay, he? and he considers Sir David Frost to be know, looks like something a of a hippie. Shit. So... You're going to have to leave. Looks like he put I'm sorry, on I, I wouldn't normally cream. do this. I, I mean, I have a standing order to the Royal National Lifeboat Institute. That's the kind of guy I am. Maybe you can take some comfort from that? God, she's gorgeous. <laughs> Mark kicked a homeless man out of his I house. Know. That but then day. again, it's not, it, it's, this place is Mark's, and he's letting 
them stay there. Yeah. And on top of that, they let a homeless man stay there. Yeah. Interesting. I'd be like, the homeless man could stay. You gotta go. <laughs> yeah, you form ripping up. Yeah, you form ripping up guy. This is killing me. Maybe I can just go and rob myself against her. Say I'm doing an experiment. No, too pathetic. Okay, here goes. The nuclear option. The ultimate. So, Nancy, I just wanted to say how much I'm enjoying not having sex with you. Really? Yeah. Come on, Jez. Death or glory. In fact, I was going to propose that we should probably never have sex again. I mean, all that humping and pumping. We could take all of that wasted energy and try and accomplish so many more important things. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's great, Jez, but I really wanted this to bring us, you know, closer together. Oh, but it has. I feel incredibly close to you without any pressure to be sexual. I mean, these, I mean, they're just a pair of human breasts, for Christ's sakes. Now I can finally appreciate your whole body without any stupid sexual desire. Well, yeah, I mean, celibacy, that's, that's great, but maybe it's all just a bit of naughty Nancy. Nancy can't have fun. Nancy must be punished. And maybe I should just say, fuck you, Mom. Oh, yeah, take that, God. Shove this up your toga, you big beardy killjoy. Hey, where's Nim? Oh, Nim's gone. Where? Well, he's fine. Mark chucked him out. Jesus, Jeremy. Poor Nim. Where exactly is Nim? Oh, Nim, 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 Nim. Fucking oh, Nim. It now. Look, if you love Nim so much, why don't you go and find him and screw him? Okay. Fine. I will go and try and find Nim. You know, just to make sure that he's not like, I don't know, dead or something. Oh, Nancy, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Come back. Oh, please. I'm dying here. Just, you know, touch it. Blow on it. <laughs> what was that? Fuck. Touch he's it. uncomfortable. <laughs> oh my god, don't make that face, please. Talk to it! <laughs> it's like a perverted alien. You can use a tea towel. <sighs> so far, I just wanted to Wait, say... Wait, let me see that again. Blow on it! Blow on you it. You can use a tea... Oh, please, I'm dying here. Just, you know, touch it. <laughs> Blow on it. You can use a tea towel. Use a tea towel? What's a tea so, towel? So, I just wanted to say, if we do end up going up the highlands together, I not only expect, but will insist on separate rooms, because... Mark? Oh, um, Alan. Uh, it, it's not what it looks like. It, it's only a pint. Only a pint? It's never only a pint. I didn't even want it. Sophie bought it for me. I asked for a Coke. No, you didn't. <laughs> you know what I'm hearing, Mark? Pour me. Pour me. Pour me another drink. No, Alan! This is bullshit, Mark. And you can forget about the two weeks in Aberdeen. Two words. Mini bar. Ah, uh, Calibre. Of course, Calibre. Why didn't I say it was Calibre? Calibre would have made everything all right. <laughs> so he's like, what the fuck happened? Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to Aberdeen. I'm going, Jeff, in a canoe made of your skin, wearing your nuts as earrings. Jesus. All right, Jeff. All right, Mark. So, say, tell you what, Jeff, I had a great shag last night. Oh, really? Yeah, with your mum. <laughs> what? I was no. not, I was like, what? I thought really? he was gonna say it was Sophie, like just to piss him off with your mom. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Yeah, really do it. I had a great shag last night. Oh, really? Yeah, with your mum. What? 
Yeah, really doing it. Really. <laughs> Liz, I know you're pissed off about me going to Aberdeen with Soph and everything, but you need to chill, OK? You need to chill right out, otherwise... Otherwise I'm... what? What's gonna happen, you homo? Mark. Stolen any good cars lately, Mr. Scouser? Hey, where's your native wit now, eh, Mr. Stupid? Watch it, mate. Come on, Jeff. Let's get down to it, shall we? Come on, you stupid, stinking chicken fucker. Quack, 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 Oh, those chickens really love it when that big rooster Jeff comes a calling. <laughs> oh, he's bloody broken my beautiful nose. That should be more than enough for personnel to go on, don't you think? Goodbye, Jeff. What, mate? Where's... Where's the other one? You're not the one I bought the lager for. Laurie knocks off at six. But he was supposed to tape the... Me and Jeff in the room. He, he must have taped it. Oh, shit! Look, mate, pal, you, you've got to do me a favour. Hey, Jeff. What now, Mark? Yeah, so, like I was saying... Your mum. I had sex with her. Mark, why are you doing this to yourself? Yeah, and it was great. Mark, go home. Come on, you big down. pussy. Look, you obviously got a lot of serious stuff going on. And I'm not going to make it any worse. Come on. Dick cheese, piss teeth, fish lips. Come on. Have another crack at me, Jeff. Go on, I'll fight back this time. Hit me, Jeff. It's OK. I'll get him at the bus stop. There's CCTV at the bus stop. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. These two guys are insane. You're right, though. Season two really stepped it up. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Those first two episodes were... I feel like we're wilder than this really? one. Really? Yeah. I'm going to have to rewatch them then. Yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> just like Sophie's face because she didn't know what the fuck was I going know on. she's like what the hell I just got him a beer yeah. she's like it's just a pint it's never a pint yeah and uh Jeremy's obsessed with this American girl who's probably the uh an earlier version of a crystal of a person. crystal lady yeah. he just ruined it for himself though he did he did but he was a real dick. I know. Up that he guy's deserves forms. it. Yeah. That was very mean. But Jeremy de deserves a lot of the stuff. That happens to, that him. Happens to yeah. him. Mark I deserves agree. most of it. No? I do. I don't know. He deserves some of it. I do feel like he just has, like, just bad luck. Like, yeah, the picture of him of being luck. drinking a beer. And everyone thinking he's an alcoholic. And he tried to tell that guy, like, look, I'm not. And they wouldn't believe him. Yeah. So he had to go along with this lie, and now it just screwed him over. Yeah. All right. Well, let me know what you guys think. Apparently, there's. I'm not going to say what it is, but I had a. Uh, I got a. Uh, a message. Where I don't read messages often, but I happen to glance at this one because I get so many. But he said there's a, a certain part in Peep Show that he's waiting for us to get to. Oh jeez. But it didn't happen this. in this one. I know the just a uh, small description of it. Okay. Because it was kind of it spoiled a little bit of it, but you not like it spoiled you like twenty percent of it surprised? for me. I'd say because I know what's in, in involved. Do you want to tell me or should I just no. be surprised? Okay. Because no. I don't know what's gonna happen. I just know. Yeah. What's involved? Okay. So. I don't know which episode it is though, but as soon as I see a certain thing in there, I'm gonna be like, "Well, this must be it." We gotta do a Carl Pilkington next. Isn't yep, it? Idiot yeah. Abroad, definitely. Maybe we'll do that tonight. Mm hmm. And we're gonna watch. Also, got a bottom re uh, reaction coming out tomorrow. So I don't think you've reacted. You've no, I don't think I show. have. Um, and I'll probably do an Only Fools and Horses soon, too. <laughs> You're gonna say OnlyFans. OnlyFans? <laughs> Is that what you wanna do? I heard all oh, no. <laughs> Like the, I see YouTube comments like we're waiting any day now. No. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. So be on the lookout for more uploads coming very soon. It's gonna be a lot of uploads this week. So, all right, you guys take care, stay safe. Bye. Have a great day. Thanks Peace out, coming. everybody.